Hello everyone. Um, today I will show you how to deploy uh, VMs with Terraform on vSphere. I've previously built a template with Packer that I'm going to use with my Terraform configuration to deploy new instances into vSphere in my home lab. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna show my Terraform state. It should be empty by now. Sorry. I will list my state and yeah, it's empty. Also, I will check in Visware to, to see that I don't have any resources deployed. So what I want is I want a folder that's named uh, Kates. And I want the controller nodes and worker nodes deployed into that folder. So let's uh, let's get started with um, doing a Terraform plan command. And I will sh uh, save that that uh, plan into a file called changes. So what I can see here is what gonna happen and what's what is the resources that I'm gonna deploy to my visa environment and um, so this is all the details I can use this file to send to my change management uh, board or uh, what I need to do if I have any uh, processes in my company that I need to follow but I will just uh, do a terraform apply uh, changes to see that um, I will create my uh, worker nodes and my control nodes into vSphere and if I open my uh, uh, vCenter I can see that um, several clone operations takes place now so what we need to do is to wait for, for this to command to complete and then we have our uh, resources deployed you can also see that the folder is uh, created and uh, the nodes are the VMs are being deployed <coughs> I will also have an output in my CLI window that shows me the IP addresses of, of the nodes to, to connect to. So um, I will just wait to see, see what happens. So this should take around two minutes or something to deploy and I will just uh, forward the, the, the recording for you. Okay, so now my resources are deployed and I can see the IP addresses outputted to the screen here. So it's just for me to, to go ahead and connect to one of these resources. So let's see how we do that. We just uh, take an IP address. And I've already prepared these the the, um, the template with my SSH keys and all of the usernames and configurations and stuff so now it's up and running and I can start to provision my Kubernetes cluster with these nodes so I can also go into to Visual to see that my my nodes are running um, and it's all in the uh, folder that I wanted and all of the VMs are, are created here just as I want them to be when I'm done playing around I can go to my my Terraform um, tab, and I can first list my state to see what I have deployed um, into my infrastructure. I can also easily destroy all of the VMs to 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 yeah to destroy them to delete them from my infrastructure if I don't want them anymore. So uh, just as like with the plan command, it says what it's gonna do, it what it's gonna remove, and what the impact is. So uh, I I agree that I want to to destroy this. So I do a just command. So that was the destroy command. It was really fast, and now I'm back to square one. I have no Kubernetes folder, Kate's folder. I have no worker nodes or control nodes, everything is complete, deleted, powered off, shut off, done. So 
it's really useful in an environment to, to spin up new infrastructure resources and to take them down easily and quickly with code. That was everything. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog at richio.com. I will show them down in the notes. So thank you for watching. Bye.